Hello there and welcome again to Education 716 Reading, Writing, Educational Literature. I want to go through the syllabus a little bit here now so you can see I've just basically pulled it up inside of the Google Drive area so you can see Google Drive sort of here in the background and I'm just going to quickly go through. So as you look through it first it starts off with a bit of information about myself in terms of when I'm available and how to get a hold of me. So as you can see there, um, and I'll be honest with you, my cell phone is probably the best way of getting a hold of me except for during the day. Um, because during the day I'm out on Mare Island down at uh, the uh, down at Toro University and um, unfortunately if you've been here you've probably noticed that we don't get much in the way of cell service at least not from Verizon anyway out here on the island so uh, that's always a, a challenge for us um, so if it's uh, during the day particularly on Tuesdays Wednesdays and uh, Fridays um, Basically, I'm in the office, so try me at the office number. On Mondays and Thursdays, I'm at home, uh, working from home or working from a coffee shop somewhere, uh, oftentimes doing these kinds of videos or uh, doing writing. Um, so the best way of getting a hold of me then is on the cell. Um, email by far is always the best way because regardless of where I am, I'm sitting in front of my computer, it seems, so email is always the best way of getting a hold of me. Um, so one of the things I'll point out is you'll note at the top it says that this is a general plan for the course and that um, the syllabus may need to be changed at different points in time depending on what sort of unfolds throughout the semester. When I taught back east oftentimes that meant uh, if we were going to have a snowstorm. Um, since I'm a newcomer to Northern California I've been told that that doesn't happen to us during the spring semester and that if it does that we're in real trouble and this class is probably not going to be something we'd be worrying about if we end up with a snowstorm um, in the next couple of months but anyway um, as you can see the next thing is you've got our course schedule here um, so we meet seven times in total um, six of those are or sorry, five of those are in the uh, Vacapenny Middle School. So you'll see sessions one, four, five, six, and seven are face to face, and those are ones that we will meet in Vacapenny uh, Penny Middle School. Uh, you'll note session two is one that we're going to be doing through Zoom. Um, so I'll be actually traveling to a conference that particular week, so we'll be conducting class uh, online synchronously through Zoom. So I'll send out a link uh, that week uh, leading up to class so that you have a, a link to log into, and we will do essentially what we would normally do at the middle school, but we're going to do it online. Uh, the third class is one that, or the third session I should say, is one that you and I will meet individually. So any time leading up to or by the class that we have on the 9th, I would like to schedule a time to sit down and meet with you individually before we see each other again on March the 2nd. So basically sometime after February 9th, but before March 2nd, um, I would like to sit down and meet with each of you. We'll basically, by that point in time, be able to go over some of the things that you're finding in your search of the literature, discuss possible themes, maybe be able to uh, do some of the outlining that you're going to need to have done for session four, and uh, essentially be ready to um, start writing. Uh, which is sort of the main goal that we want to get out of this course. Um, looking through the rest of the first page, it's just simply the course description and course objectives. Um, you'll note there on page two, we've got our textbook. Um, Glavin is our main text for the course. Uh, I think many of you already have that. It was probably purchased as part of uh, 710. Um, you'll note that Mertler is listed there, although we don't uh, actually use him much this semester. We'll use him a little bit more next semester, and I suspect you probably used him last semester. And the APA manual is listed there, although in all honesty I would not recommend that you buy that because there's enough resources online that will teach you APA plus we'll actually do a couple of classes where we look at APA issues and I'll be fixing a lot of that in your drafts along the way. Some of you have already reached out to me uh, to get feedback on your chapter one. I've already discovered some of that. 
Uh, there's a couple of what I call recommended texts. These are other uh, books that deal with writing literature reviews or evaluating uh, and understanding research. And uh, so they're useful books. I'll have copies of them uh, when we come to class that first night. Uh, you can see some of the technology resources there. As you'll note, uh, while we do have Blackboard, and I've added a couple of items to Blackboard, Google Classroom will be our main tool that we'll use. Um, you'll see some course uh, requirements there. Um, you'll see the list of assignments, so part class participation, um, a research proposal, which is your IRB proposal. Um, you'll need an outline uh, for your literature review, and then the actual literature review is sort of the bulk of the um, the course, if you will, and that's the one that will be due uh, at the very end of the semester, which is going to be May 4th. And then one of the things that you'll do as a way of sort of supporting each other is you'll actually do uh, a couple of peer reviews of each other's documents. So that'll be uh, the last item that you've got there. Uh, the grading information here is probably fairly standard for all of the courses that you've had at um, Toro University, California. You'll note that this is a pass-fail course, if I remember correctly, uh, looking in on the Toro 1 system. Um, here is our schedule that you've got. So for that first session, uh, the Clark uh, 83, which I mentioned when I sat down with you guys um, in class last semester, as well as the Boot and Beal 2005, plus the first three chapters of Gl Glavin, are what I expect you to have read when you come into class the first night. I also expect you to have uploaded for me a copy of your chapter one from 710 so I can get a better idea of what it is that you guys are doing and become a little bit more familiar uh, with your topics. Um, and you can see sort of each class what I've done is I've gone through and given you the readings up here. Some of the main things we're going to discuss and go through and, and work on in class and then um, anything that might be do is here in the middle italicized. Uh, one of the things you'll notice there's a couple of things there about searching the literature and uh, we're actually going to have someone from the library that's going to come and join us uh, either in person or via Zoom, still working out all the details of that, to talk about searching the Toro University databases so that'll be uh, of great help. Um, so looking through here's you know the schedule so take a look at that make sure you're familiar with it um, anything that is not the textbook uh, in terms of your readings will actually be placed online in Google Classroom it's already there actually um, so following the schedule it's the list of course policies um, and these for the most part are probably fairly standard um, one of the things I'll ask you to note as we're looking through here uh, a couple of things. Attendance is mandatory. Um, your work should follow APA and we'll spend a lot of time on that. Make sure you read the policy there on late work as well. Take a look at the policy there that talks about uh, class discourse and the class environment. I think that's always an important one. Um, after that you get some standard information from uh, the Graduate School of Education Policy so these are ones you've likely seen before take a bit of time to look through them um, even if you have looked at them before just so you can familiarize yourself with uh, what you see there um, information about dispositions and some of the indicators uh, are always important items um, there's some information there about plagiarism, which given the fact that we're working on a large-scale research project over the next, um, well, I guess you've been working on it for four months now and you're going to continue on with it for the next eight or so, um, that's an important one to make sure you're familiar with. And then at the end you'll see there's a little bibliography that includes some additional resources about literature reviews, other texts, if you will. Um, actually, most of them are ones that I've used uh, in the past at various points in time for different universities that I've been at. Um, so they're useful ones, I think. Some of them I still have on my bookshelf, and those that I do I will bring to class uh, likely that first night. 
um, but um, all of these are relatively good, so I mentioned them here uh, just so you've got a reference for them in case you did want to look them up or order them through our library or Amazon or what have you. Anyway, um, we'll spend a little bit more time on this in class, although not a great deal more time. Basically, I will sort of hit on some of the main points in that first class and then um, see if there's any questions, so be sure to have reviewed um, the syllabus prior to that point um, because I'm not going to review it in detail in class. Looking forward to meeting everyone in a couple of weeks.